Number 14, find the average bearing stress between bolt 1 and the upper base plate. Okay, so for the bearing stress, ganun pa din. Ang meron lang bearing is yung 1 and 2. So ganun pa din, 6, 6, 7. Didivide lang natin sa bearing area. So kanina, ang tinanong kasi is shear stress. This time, bearing area naman. So, we have solved previously kung paano mag-compete ng bearing area. Diba? That is simply diameter ng bolt times the thickness ng plate na binabangga niya. So, ang diameter ng bolt ay 12 and then ang thickness ng plate, upper base plate, according to the problem, is 14. No? Ayan. 14 daw ang thickness na upper base plate. 14 ang thickness. So, 2 times 14. And then, kailangan lang natin i-times ng 2 kasi dalawa yung ating bolts. Diba? Bolts 1 and 2, sabay yan bumabangga. So, dalawa yung ating bolts. Parang sa shear. Parang sa shear stress. Dalawa yung shear area kasi dalawa yung bolts. Sige. So, ilan yung ating bearing stress? That is 1.9851190484. Megapascals. Okay? So that is letter A. Then 15, find the average bearing stress between both 4 and the upper base plate. So katulad kanina, 0 yung shear stress sa both 3 and 4 kasi nga hindi sila nagkakaroon ng contact. So ibig sabihin, ganun din sa bearing stress for both 3 and 4. 0 then. Situation 6, an aluminum bar AD has a cross-sectional area of 250 mm squared. And then these are the given forces. And then ito yung legs nung kada segment. So calculate the change in length in the bar. So we will just compute again for the internal forces. So for segment CD, so we have P3 equals 5780 Newton. And then meron tayong internal force. CD. So, by summation of forces along horizontal, NCD equals negative 5780. And then, segment BC, we have so 5780. And then, my force tie dito na 5340. We now have the internal force KBC. So, summation of forces along horizontal equals 0. We have 5340. Minus 5780 minus NBC equals 0. So we have negative 440 Newton. So ibig sabihin, compression si CD and BC. Then lastly, segment AB. So we have 5780, 5340. And then may force pa isa na 7560. So madedevelop yung internal force kay segment AB. So, summation of forces along horizontal, we have 7560 plus 5340 minus N sub AB minus 5780 equals 0. Mau-compute natin si segment AB. So, ano yung magiging force kay segment AB? That is 7120. So, with this, we can now compute the total deformation. So, let's compute first for the deformation of segment TD. So, compression si CD, and that is 5780. No? So, PL over AE, so 5780. Ang length ni CD ay 910 over area, which is 250 times modulus of elasticity. So that is negative 0 0.2921111 millimeters. And then, let us solve again for segment BC. Negative. Internal force natin kay segment BC ay 440, no? Compression pa din. So, 440. Ang length niya ay 610 over area 250 by 72,000. That is negative 0, 0, 0,149. Lastly, for segment AB, Ang internal force kay segment AB ay 7,120. Tension, so positive yan. 1,525 over 250 by 72,000. So we have 0 0.6032222.
Okay. So we can now solve for the total deformation segment AB plus segment BC plus segment CB. No? So by the way, i-rewrite ko lang. Yung formula natin ng deformation is PN over AB. No? Sige, so let's get the total deformation. 0 0.6032222. Therefore, we have total deformation equals 0 0.2961 millimeter. Not positive meaning elongation. No? So that is letter A. Next, by what amount P should the load P3 be increased so that the bar does not change in length when the three loads are applied? So again, ira-represent natin yung mga internal forces natin in terms of P3. So, uulitin lang natin. For segment CD, so dyan naka-apply yung, yung force na P3. So, meron tayong internal force CD. So, summation of forces along horizontal. In terms of P3, ang ating NCD is negative P3. Then, for segment for segment BC, we have P3 and then yung P2 natin na 5340 and then andito yung ating internal force NBC. So, summation of forces along horizontal, 5340 minus P3 minus NBC equals 0. NBC is 5340 minus P3. Segment AB, we have P3, 5340, and then we have 7560. Then this is N sub AB. So with some forces along horizontal equal 0, we have 7560 plus 5340 minus P3 minus NAB. So the internal force for segment AB is 12,9. No? 12,9 minus P3. Okay, so meron na tayo mga internal force. So we can now recompute again the deformation. Sabi, ang magiging total deformation daw is 0 kasi there will be no change in length. So we get the total and we equate that to 0. So 0 equals, let's solve for the deformation of segment AB. Segment AB, ang internal force is 12,9 minus P3. So 12,9 minus P3 times the length 1525 and then the area is 250 yung modulus of elasticity next is the internal force for segment bc is 5340 minus p3 times the length which is 610 over area 250 by 72000 last is negative p3 for segment cd ang internal force ip3 Ang length ay 910, and then ang area is 250, modulus of elasticity is 72,000. Okay, so we can now solve for the value of P3. Yeah, so the value of P3 is 7530.34482. So ito na yung answer natin.